Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you a very simple trick to dramatically increase your YouTube thumbnails click through rate. Many YouTube thumbnails have actually quite low click through rate. If it's not attractive or not clear in terms of what the video is trying to convey, people are just not going to click on it. It often comes down to the photo or elements you're using on the thumbnail. If you don't have the right photo with expressions and maybe pointing different parts of the thumbnail, it's just not going to really drive the results. Perhaps you're thinking about retaking the photos, but that's going to take time and it gets more complicated if this is a client project. And many of us work remotely, so we can't exactly run to the client's doorsteps and help them take photos. That's where Gen Fill, which stands for Generative Fill, an AI feature from Adobe Express comes into play. With full transparency, I'm a proud Adobe Express ambassador and they're so kind to sponsor today's video so that creators and small business owners like yourself can learn how to create better, more engaging and highly converted content without breaking the bank. One of my favorite YouTube strategy channel called Film Booth actually showed us this trick from a while back and I've been practicing for years and it really works. If you have a static imagery, maybe you're smiling, your client smiling in the thumbnail. If you're working with a static imagery, sometimes just somebody standing there or just their upper body, with their hands on their sides and smiling into the camera, it's not going to be very effective. Instead, as simple as a hand with an index finger pointing at the key element, oftentimes is the text or something you built into the thumbnail. Just that simple thing can dramatically increase your click through rate because it drives attention. Instead of focusing on your face smiling, which is nice, now they're paying attention to the key message being conveyed on the thumbnail. Adobe Express to the rescue with Generative Fill, which is an AI feature, you can easily paint an area and insert that hand with the pointing finger directly to your key message. Don't believe me? Let me go ahead and show you on the screen right now. So to get started with Gen Fill or Generative Fill, I simply search for Gen Fill at the top or you can look under Let Your Imagination Soar with Generative AI. These are all the AI features I'm gonna click on the second one, generative fill. And from here I can upload an image and just get started. So to find my image again, I'm gonna click on my stuff. So instead of using this image, I wanna use my own image. All right, I'm gonna add my image right here. And what will happen now if I go ahead and click on this image and right here, gen fill, but first I need to draw something. So I want him to point something over here, for instance, it doesn't have to be perfect. Not bad. This is a guy's hand and you have different variations. And now you can actually add your text. Let me just go ahead and add something. So you see what I mean? You can actually add this and you need this. You need to know this. That's it. So pointing inside a YouTube thumbnail can drive incredible results. Something that's so simple. Yet sometimes when we work with clients, this is just not the type of photos that they're used to. Really helpful to add a hand. Ideally, of course, you want to be taking photos with your hands and your outfits already built in. But if you didn't, this is a really quick fix. A lot of people want to know how to remove your image background freely. So look at this image right here. Can you tell that there is actually sort of a light gray background? So I want to remove that so that I can move this guy very freely without creating, as you can see, a gap on the right hand side. All I have to do is click on this image right here. You see on the left hand side, a bunch of features popped up, one of which is remove background. So I just click on that once and it takes seconds. Boom. His hand, which I added using Gen Fill, is still stuck to this character. So all I have to do is move him a little bit to the left. And now I can increase the size of this, add another image if I choose to. But it's so, so simple. This is how you remove the background using Adobe Express. There's so many other uses of Gen Fill, and I highly recommend that you explore, especially during this holiday season. Imagine you have an imagery you wanna remove and add to. There is no limitation. This is one of many examples, guys. So as a creator, as a small business owner, there's so much you can create. If you wanna get started with Gen Fill, please consider signing up for Adobe Express using the link right here on the screen. I've also included that in the video description. Adobe Express is completely free, no credit card required. You can explore a ton of features. Genfill is a free feature to use with a free account. However, you do have a credit limit. If you want to use it on a more regular basis, I highly recommend that you upgrade it to the premium account. 
Remember, if you are already a Creative Cloud user, even a single app user, you may have access to the premium account as well. Please have fun with Genfill. I would love to see what you end up creating. Tell me in the comments below. I would love to explore. If you like this video about Genfill, I really welcome you to check out the next one related to best practices, related to YouTube thumbnails. I'm also going to walk you through more detailed YouTube templates already pre-built from within Adobe Express, adopting a lot of the design best practices so that you don't have to keep track of them. And I hope you have fun. I'm going to see you right over there, okay?